Hey guys, what's up? Season Salt here, making a tutorial for Samsung devices. Um, this application that I'm going to be talking about is going to allow you to mirror your Samsung device to your desktop, so that way you can do whatever you want to do with it. So I've already navigated here. You're going to want to do two things. You're going to want to download this PC client here at samsung.com slash us slash site sync and then on your phone you're going to download side sync on the app store or your tablet you're going to download the side sync so once you guys while that's installing we're going to take a look here at the system requirements this side sync application uh, requires your phone if you have a smartphone you need android kitkat 4.4 or higher and if you have a tablet you are going to need android lollipop 5.0 or higher so once that stuff is downloaded on your phone and desktop. We're going to open up the application here on the desktop. See, I now have it there. And next on your phone. And once you have it running up on your phone, you'll see right away my phone uh, was discovered by the application. And then you're going to click it, and then it's going to start connecting right away. As you can see now, it has my. A, a slimmed down version of my de uh, my phone uh, already accessible on the screen. So then we're going to click on this icon here that says phone screen and you'll see now it is connected to uh, it has established a remote connection between my phone screen and my desktop. But you'll notice now with it your screen is off. So I'm moving my phone with my mouse However, I don't see my device screen on. So for those of you who like to play games or you want to be able to remotely uh, pilot something here, you want to be able to remotely control. I apologize, I just clicked on my phone here. We're going to maximize here on our desktop and you're going to see some icons pop up. And this one on the bottom here says enable presentation mode. If I click that, you will now see my device is the screen has turned back on and with it now I can move left and right I can control my phone as normal and if you want to see a quick to, uh, a quick show of how the graphics look like for those of you who like to play games and whatnot or that I'm gonna open up here Heroes of Order and Chaos by Gameloft and I'm gonna just hit up the tutorial just to show you this is near real-time uh, response see up down up down. near perfect frame rate it runs at about 30 FPS uh, we'll hit play to uh, practice basic tutorial and I'll show you here just a quick snippet of how the game looks and now you can see I have my phone screen on I'm controlling it in real time and it looks pretty darn good you ask me but if you have any questions on how this application works feel free to leave a comment below and I will do my best to respond in a timely fashion so I'm gonna continue doing this tutorial here and I hope to catch you guys for my next set of videos uh, with extra tutorials and whatnot so I hope you guys have a good day and uh, like I said leave me some feedback below and I'll do my best to help when I can take care